Anyway, let's talk about things that are positive here. We talk about reunions. I just showed uh, Bill Ryder here and Bob Fitzpatrick a big, thick pad of reunions. But yours is taking all the prominence in the city because it's the 100th anniversary, right, Bill? Yes, uh, and also this $30 that I'm slipping you now. Oh, oh thank you. Thanks, Red. Okay, Could I have Canadian money? This, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> American money is, yeah. Oh, no, this is Mexican pesos. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, fabulous. Uh, we're at 16th and 17th of May, 100 years. That Britannia High School is 100 years old. And uh, Bob, Bob is here today because Bob knows really everything about it. I'm here to, you know, try to crack the occasional joke. But <laughs> what's the oldest person that's going to be there? It's We have grads, actually, Bill, from the graduating class of 29, 30, and 31 who are going to come, and we have them coming as far away as New Zealand, Australia, and Surrey. <laughs> now, Bob, I told you, I do the humor. Gee, hard to control a teacher, I, I understand, it? yes, but you don't want to argue because you might get detention. Well, that's right. <laughs> yeah, like I wouldn't know what a detention is. So this is open to everyone, uh, Bob, uh, Bill, the Bob and Bill show. Uh, who, no, anyone who attended Britannia doesn't have to necessarily graduate, is that it? Any... Yes, uh, that would include Bill, therefore. Oh, why'd you look at me? That's not very funny, Red. <laughs> Anyone who has attended and graduated or walked the halls of Britannia, we want you down there on the 16th at Britannia, 17th at the Agrodome. Plus, anybody who hasn't walked the halls of Britannia, would you like to be there on the 17th? May, may an old you... King Eddie come? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, that's true. We've now opened it up. Because uh, old pals of mine, when I, I showed them the poster that yeah. I just gave you, and old pals of mine have said, oh, well, how, how can I go? I went to tech. And I, I thought, well, you know, so Bob and I talked about it, and it is now open to everybody. This everybody is... in the Lower Mainland, everybody in Canada, everybody who uh, hears about it can come to this thing at the Agrodome on the 17th, and the lineup is fabulous. Uh, not only Dal Richards, your pal, because right. you're going to be doing a thing, I think, a week and a half later. Yeah, Mother's Day. Something. Mother's Day at the theater they named after me, yeah. <laughs> what theater is that, Red? Uh, the River Rock. No, oh, yeah, come yeah. on, come on, come on. <laughs> was that the Red Robinson Theater? Yes, thank you. Damn you, you know, we were so <laughs> jealous of that. We all want theaters named after us. <laughs> the Fred Latrimo Theater. That's, com that's coming. <laughs> it's coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> but uh, Dow Richards is going to headline, and a guy named Harry Aoki, which I think it's Class of 38 or something? Class of 39, I think. Class no. of 39. Yes. And this guy plays chromatic harmonica, and he is supposed to be absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. This is the way Foreman did it. He closed his eyes like I just did. Uh, another uh, um, act is uh, Ricky, Federico, Call Me Ricky, Fuoco, and Fire. Fabulous. They're, um, they, he owns his own club, actually, on Commercial Drive. But it's uh, disco and all of that. It's the whole Saturday Night Fever thing. And Rosalind Keen, oh, Rosalind yes. Keen and the Apollos. Rosalind's going to be singing with them. A guy named David Steele. Now, look, I've got this thing here. Just let me read some of the... David Steele, this guy, uh, it's his professional session singer, live singer, instructor. He, this kid has done everything. Kid, he's probably, you know, 52 yeah, now. That's but, a kid. Uh, I think he's probably in his late 30s, actually. But he's worked with Blue Murder, Bon Jovi, White Snake, Thin Lizzy. You know how they, Motley Crue, uh, you know how they do that? Like, uh, Motley Crue will go in, and they'll, you know, they'll be singing something, and it, it's like a real high note, and none of the Motley Crue can reach the note. No, that's right. So they get a guy in like this. May or may not give him credit on the album, <laughs> right? You know, that, sure. I mean, it's show business. Millie Vanilli, give them back their Grammy, for God's sake. <laughs> but David, David would go in there and do all of that for Motley Crue and White Snake and all. David Foster, Lover Boy. I mean, it goes on or Bette Midler. So he's there with the David Steele and the all-funk band, all fu just funk band. And I think they're going to be doing funk. It sounds like <laughs> sounds like you're covering all decades, all uh, generations, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. and that's Al Foreman who's done that, who's the musical director. Al, Mr. Big Foreman. 104.9 Clear FM, my special guest here uh, in the studio with me is uh, Bob Fitzpatrick, 
who is a teacher from Britannia. Grad from Britannia, what year? Uh, not a grad from Britannia, oh. but have been there for 33 years. Okay, I don't know how he got in our studio. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, here I am, a big buildup and crash. He has anyway. a tiny room in the basement. <laughs> and they don't know what he does. They don't know what he does. No, okay. Yeah. And, of course, my, my friend and everybody's friend, uh, Bill, Bill Ryder. <laughs> is he everybody's friend? Bill Ryder is here. Uh, Bill, uh, t- tell us again. Now, it's it's. O- I couldn't believe the part where the Agrodome part's open to everybody for this great big 100th reunion of Britannia High School. Yeah, because uh, old pals, that's how it happened. Uh, I showed the poster. We had a small version of the poster that we gave you, which, by the way, let me. I'm going to forget what I'm just saying, so remind me, okay? Yeah. I know what the way my brain it's thinks. <laughs> but this, this Saturday... This Saturday, when do we air? We've already done it. We This Saturday, we had a thing at Neptune Records where we right. had all the guys there. We had, uh, could I mention some... Anybody, uh, it doesn't matter. Some disc jockey rivals. Doesn't matter. Okay, Doc Harris, can I mention That's fantastic. Him? I love Doc. Okay, good. What about, uh, do you like Bro Jake? Uh, Bro Jake's a, a great friend. I, uh, <laughs> okay. I've been in arm wrestles with him and <laughs> what won. A, what about... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, all of these guys have been there today and uh, received autograph posters. Uh, the autograph poster is for May 17th. Right. May 17th is the second day, May 16th and 17th. 16th is always at, is all at Brit. Uh, on the 17th and the day it's at Brit, and then at night, there's this giant, fantastic show. I just got a shiver. I gave myself a shiver. Okay. Uh, fantastic, <laughs> giant show. Doesn't take show. much. No. <laughs> Bob, giant, get, go ahead, giant. Bob, get your hand off my knee. <laughs> giant. <laughs> giant. <laughs> <laughs> but at the 17th, the night of the 17th, from 6, oh, doors open at 6, I think it's from 7 yeah. to 12.30. We're going to go past midnight, 12.30, and it's all of these acts. Uh, the 2008 Britannia Chorus is going to be there, uh, a- along with Al, Mr. Big Foreman, the Soulmates, which are the group yeah. of guys that I know, old pals, we're doing doo-wop. Um, Dal Richards is going to headline. Harry Fuoco. Uh, or not Harry Foco, Harry Aoki is with Del Richards. Right. Uh, Ricky, call me Ricky, Foco is going to be there with Fire and Rosalind Keen and David Steele. So that's the 17th, the night of the 17th, May 17th. Um, Where do I, they get tickets, though? Where do you get tickets? Tickets? Oh, no, tickets. Bob. Bob. <laughs> tickets will be available at the door. Okay. Okay, perfect. so come one, come all. And certainly, as Bill said, anyone is invited. Please come up that night. It's going to be a great night of entertainment that's going to kick ass out of the east side of Vancouver. Uh, Bob? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, please please, please, please kick, watch what? your language. It's not the bro No, no, it's show, okay. okay. Uh, literally Red, translated, ap- that's ap- kick, kick, kiss the donkey. No, 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 no something like that. I apologize for that. <laughs> And a teacher, too. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, my. Look, I want to thank you both for coming in. But, uh, Bill, before oh, you, yes. you go, would you come back here and uh, do a show with me? For those who don't know, Bill had a an incredible, uh, what can I call it, R&B slash doo-wop slash jazz slash blues store. Or, and, and and then, you know, went into radio and, and, and did a, a lot of wonderful things. And so familiar to all of us with commercials and j- just a great guy. Would you come back? And, and bring some music with you, and let's have a good time. Can I play Curtis Usley? Absolutely. Okay, who is Curtis Usley? I have no idea. Oh, come on. Is he related no, to K- Kato Mendelssohn? Is what? he related to Kato Mendelssohn? That's the same guy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Can I play the PSA now? Oh, yeah. I, listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you both for coming in. All right. <laughs> then we're going to hear the Beatles, but ladies and gentlemen, listen to this important announcement. Wow, the old Britannia High School fight song. Hi, this is Bill Ryder, telling all former students about Brit's 100th anniversary party. Information about this two-day event is found at www.BritanniaCentennial.com or just Google Britannia High School 100th anniversary. Two days of fun, music, and frivolity. Britannia High School's 100th anniversary, May 16th and 17th. Phone 604-713-8266 or look us up on the next.